Hey, this is Cookie, and these birds are doing a poor job of dressing me. Oh, come on, you call that a winter knot? Uh-oh, I'm outnumbered. There are your screws to get you started. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Accordion to Jim Accordion Store. You're a one-stop shop for all your accordion needs. Well, needs is probably a strong word. Desires, yes, accordion desires. No, that's probably too strong, too. Look, if you have or want an accordion, just come here. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. Okay, let's hit it. First on the docket, let's get this potato salad started. Let's say cannibals catch the singer Pink and throw her on the grill. Based on the minimum steak temperature set by the USDA, when might the cannibals stop calling her Pink and instead refer to her as well done? When she reaches 130 degrees Fahrenheit? When she reaches 150 degrees Fahrenheit? When she... <laughs> no. Watch how easy this is. According to the USDA, a steak is well done when it hits 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And before serving, you'll want to trim off the gristle and the tattoos. Here's one for you. You are who some computer nerd tells you you are. So, I don't know what it is, but I just can't stop taking these Zimbio quizzes. So far, I've learned that I'm Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars, Cousin Oliver from The Brady Bunch, and Sofia Coppola in The Godfather Part 3. It's actually been a depressing couple of days. But, uh, tell me this. Which of these Zimbio quizzes might tell me I'm Zambia? Which Northern African country are you? Which Southern African country are you? Which Southeast Asian country are you? Or which Middle Eastern country... Zambia is located in Southern Africa. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of wanted Zambia, so I may not have answered the quiz questions entirely truthfully. My major export isn't really refined copper, but who's gonna know? Dance with me, Disco 3! Pucker up for... Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo! or Uranus? Subject of a 1988 Australian comedy film that was a hit in Australia, but a dud in the United States. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? <laughs> confounded right answer. Young Einstein was a 1988 Australian comedy about, you guessed it, a young Albert Einstein who discovers the secret of splitting the beer atom. Americans didn't buy it because it was too absurd. I mean, come on, we all know he split the beer atom when he was in his 60s. That's not young. Next up, some mean jeans. Suppose the logo on the back pocket of your Versace jeans had the same abilities as the magical creature it represents. What would be the penalty for people checking out your butt? Your butt would sing beautifully, then eat them. Your butt would tell a riddle, then burn them alive. Your butt would unleash a powerful whirlwind, or your butt would immediately turn them to stone. Players two and three? <laughs> Player four? Whoa! Oh, that was nice. Player one? Yep, the Versace logo is modeled after the head of Medusa, so careful where you stare. But I guess it wouldn't be the first time staring at a butt made someone turn hard. Hey yo! My Here's a good one. Parliament for the course. And this dis or dat is to the death. Player two? 
You're behind at the moment, so this this or that has got your name on it. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a British Prime Minister or the name of a character from The Hunger Games. If it's a Prime Minister, press the square button. If it's The Hunger Games, press the circle button. Now the rest of you should listen carefully. Lock in your answers before Player 2 does, and if Player 2 gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone who got it right. Okay, we're off. Archibald Primrose. Benjamin Disraeli. Primrose Everdeen. Augustus Fitzroy. Plutarch Heavensby. Clement Attlee. Coriolanus Snow. Goodbye, Governor. I went on vacation to Britain once. Have you tasted the food they have there? The whole trip was like a hunger game. That brings it close to round one, and player one is in the lead, although I wouldn't go bragging about it. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And hint, hint, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Let's see what's in store. Here's one I like to call, Your Invisible Horse is Stylin'. If Gangnam Style singer Psy also wanted to be known for his Gingham Style, what would you most likely see him wearing? A paisley bow tie, a polka dot dinner jacket, a checkered dress shirt, or a pair of zip- This would've worked. Gingham is a plain weave cotton fabric that commonly has a checkered pattern. And if you haven't heard of Gingham Style, it was a one-stitch wonder. I'd hate to polka fun at this answer. And I won't, because this is the wrong answer of the game, which means you've just won a heavy metal accordion from the Accordion to Jim Accordion Store. Rock out with your later hosen. It's out. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. Question 7. Get up and shake your monkey bag. And now, Forever 21 Proof. I was shopping for clothes at the mall. I never buy clothes on the internet, only authentic clothes at the mall. And I walk by this clothing store, Forever 21. Why does everyone want to look younger than they are? Where should you shop if you want to look like you recently joined the AARP? For player 2, who's gonna get that screw? You just got screwed, player 4. Five seconds to pick an answer. AARP is an organization for Americans over 50. Forever 51 is a great place to buy high-waisted pants, Crocs, golf shirts, mom jeans, non-prescription reading glasses, suspenders, and maybe a gun. Player 2, this screw does not have a happy ending. Fuck her up for... This place is a real hip joint. Which of these hipster bones is so hip it hangs out at the hip joint? A humorous wearing a headband, a femur buying mustache wax, a fibula drinking a PBR, or a clavicle shop player three? The femur is the pretentious mustache over grooming thigh bone that meets with the pelvis to make a hip joint. Personally, I prefer to hang out at the proximal phalange bone. You've probably never heard of it. Players 1 and 2, let this be a lesson to you. Player 4, it's humorous how wrong you are. Next up, quench your thirst for solitude. Instead of drenching football coaches in a Gatorade bath when they win the Super Bowl, I think they should let the coaches take a nice real bath in Gatorade. They've earned it.
If Super Bowl winning coach Pete Carroll took a relaxing bath in the original Gatorade flavor, what might he be doing? Reading a romance novel in a tub of lemon lime? Listening to a Seal album in a tub of orange? Painting his nails in a... Player one. <laughs> Player three. <laughs> Players two and four. Lemon lime was the original flavor of Gatorade. <laughs> And a Gatorade bath is really the best way to make sure that Gatorade is in you. How about debate watchers? It's the put the choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And you'll get a fat tip for a right answer. Arrange these U.S. presidents from skinniest to fattest, based on their weight while in office. Bill Clinton, William Howard Taft, Harry Truman. Truman Taft Clinton, Clinton Truman Taft, Taft Clinton Truman, or Truman Clinton Taft. Players 2 and 4. Truman weighed 185 pounds in office, Clinton weighed 216 pounds, and Big Boy Taft weighed 330 pounds. That got you each an extra thousand bucks. Taft had to have his trousers let out a few times to accommodate his weight gains. Or as his tailor would discreetly put it, It's, um, time to gerrymander your knickers, sir. <laughs> Players 1 and 3? <laughs> Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 bucks if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Let's get fingered. Hopefully you can finger the right suspects. Takes it. Gee, player one, you just barely won that game. Were you nervous? I wasn't. Know why? Because you don't know Jack. Hi, 
I'm Mike Builder, General Manager of Jackbox Games. We've been hard at work coming up with new ways that you and your friends and family can play You Don't Know Jack. Don't have a lot of game controllers? Not a problem, because you can play this very game using your phone or tablet as a controller. But that's just the beginning. In the coming years, it's my hope that instead of using a regular controller, you'll be able to play our games using a regular TV remote, a calculator, a block of wood with buttons crudely drawn onto it, or even a garage door opener. But why stop there? We're hard at work making game controllers out of shoes, coffee table books about Paris, electric toothbrushes, farts, family pets, and maybe someday, your own mind. My coworkers tell me that most of these are technically impossible, but we already have it working on phones and tablets, and luckily I don't entirely know what the word impossible means. I think the word possible is in there somewhere, so that sounds promising. So if you love You Don't Know Jack, hopefully you'll eventually be playing our other games like Fibbage and Everybody Help Grandma, using just a half-eaten turkey sandwich as a controller. I'm Mike Builder, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Gang, have you felt tired from all that racket and ballyhoo from the so-called music festivals that the teenage beatniks and ruffians do? Or isn't it time to hop to having the music festival that go darn plays real music that mature adults and grown up older people like all of us and you can enjoy? Then come on down to the Hutchinson Community Park for Jaron Palooza. We got Jerry Gorkin's medium-sized band. The Waltz the Holics, Assorted Bob Hope Impersonators, The Sounds of the Price is Right, The Muzak Ramblers, Wind Chimes, Bingo, McDonald's Coffee, and a half dozen music boxes that play music. All the fun times and goings about begins at 7 a.m. this Thursday. And don't you worry, Missy, it's over by 2. So you have plenty of time to ski battle on home before the drug dealers come out and deal their their drugs. Take it from me, old man. Hey, can I take this microphone home with me? Huh? Do what? Yeah, okay, I'll just put it down.